I figured I'd give a review of my brand new Burley Travoy as compared to my four year old Burley Travoy so you can see the differences. So the first thing to go was the trailer hitch about a couple of months after I started. Uh, these are on my bike at this location here. This is the second one. It was four years old. It never broke. This one, after I wiped out one day doing an S curve swerve, uh, for some reason the just wouldn't stay in anymore. I don't know if you can see that. But that was the first part that broke. I had since bought some more just in case. But this one is the same one that I got right off the top. Uh, by the way, I put plastic bags on my seat so thieves don't see it, steal it. Second thing to break was the kickstand. Uh, Likely from metal fatigue or something. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's open. But with time, it just stopped hanging on. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's normal. Mine were, was a little bit overweight. I these are made for uh, 40 pounds support at the base and uh, 20 pounds at the top. For 60 pounds and I use that load all the time at least. The third thing to go was the uh, handle here for to twist it to go down. You just new, On the new one you just twist it and the handle goes down. What's inside here is like a uh, like a brake cable system and with time it, it just frayed on the inside. Probably easily replaceable, but I didn't do it. So I just usually release it. On the sides here, you have a like a push pushing thing that would release the handle to go down. Now it's more manual. It's not a catastrophe, but it was the third thing to go. The fourth thing was the base here, which is pretty sturdy right from uh, from the beginning. Uh, I usually have the bag sitting there but I put a five gallon pail inside so that it stabilizes whatever I was carrying and I think with the weight over time it just chips away at the bottom of the of the fabric there and put a tear in it. it was very small at the beginning just kept getting bigger and bigger that's what it looks like on the brand new one that's four years worth of abuse tires well like a bike, they uh, get flats. These aren't the original tires. I used, uh, they're, I think they're like for baby bikes. I went and got some wherever I could find them because when you get a flat, you're uh, fed up of changing the tubes on the inside, which are a special type of tube because the valve is turned inward, not your standard sticking out, so you can fill it up. Uh, and these are the original tires on the burly the stem there so I've had to change the tires uh, just once over four years and these are not as smooth but they do the trick when you're in a bind and the last thing that failed on me which was the crucial one is these this junction here finally snapped from the the abuse of the weight uh, that I was carrying in the back of the bike I uh, jerry-rigged it for a while because I actually use this cart hand bombing in the winter time when I'm not cycling and that was the final failure point to these uh, I can just show you what kind of flex that they have They're made to uh, bounce up and down to absorb a bit of the, the weight of bumps and stuff. So, after four years of abuse in the heavy trailer, well, they finally gave way. 
Other than that, I hope uh, I give you a bit of an idea what well, your burly travoy will look like after four years of abuse. And like I said, I'm not your uh, typical user. I'm sure I'm traveling overweight, but these go for about 400 Canadian right now uh, with a tote bag, which I'm not, which is not being shown here. But um, if I had my choice. I like them so much that I would buy one a year. It's worth it for me. And uh, I hope that gives you guys a bit of clarity on what you're buying. Uh, they're very lightweight when they're, when they're empty as well. And the whole thing just packs up in the tote bag. And you can carry it into your uh, office or whatnot. Anyway, hope that helps a few people in your choices. I give this 5 star. The way I abuse it, it's five stars. Anyway, enjoy your viewing. Thank you very much.